A key member of independent Greg Orman's campaign team has resigned and thrown his support actually now behind the opponent for governor, Democrat Laura Kelly. Tim Owens, Orman's now former treasurer, said in a statement that, quote, Laura is the only viable candidate for governor who can win and bring people together regardless of political party to move our state forward. Well, the fight to become uh, Kansas's next governor is one of the most controversial contests in the entire country. Our Caroline Sweeney found out what the candidates are promising now in return for your vote. Who will you choose in November? The unapologetic conservative Chris Kobach. Hey, I've delivered results. Results some on the left don't like. like the educated-minded Democrat Laura no, Kelly. This past eight years, we have gone through a world of hurt. Or the dark horse independent Greg Orman. Now we're a cautionary tale. And both parties are to blame. These three the have raucous supporters and vehement opponents. <laughs> but in the waning days of this contentious 2018 election, they're all focused on the undecided voters across the state. Greg Orman says he's the best candidate for those voters. We need to appeal to those dissatisfied Democrats and those dissatisfied Republicans uh, and genuine, genuinely share with them our vision for Kansas. The Kelly camp is looking toward the finish line with key endorsements lined up. It's not been difficult at all uh, to solicit the support of uh, moderate Republicans. More than two dozen Republicans stepped forward to support Kelly, including former U.S. Senator Nancy Kassenbaum and Republican Governor Bill Graves. Polls taken in the last month often showed a slim margin between Kelly and her most fervent opponent, unabashed conservative Chris Kobach. It is certainly a, a tight race. I think people who care about who the next governor is in Kansas should make sure and get to the polls because it could be another close one. Kobach, who's running on a platform of hard-nosed immigration reform and reducing taxes for Kansans, thinks he's the right choice to keep Kansas red. Now the focus is on the ground game, but how well they do reaching the undecided voters will only bear out after Election Day. Caroline Sweeney, KCTV5 News. Well, this will give you an idea of just how close the race is. Two new polls are out, and they each give different candidates the edge. So in a poll by the research firm Ipsos, Kelly holds a two-point lead over Kobach, 43% to his 41, with 9% saying they'll vote for Orman. But in an Emerson College poll, Kobach is up one point over Kelly, 44% to 43. And in that poll, 8% said they'll support Orman.